Welcome to the Emergency Call Quick Product Tour. This highlights the key features of the product's administration, call-out and PDA capabilities. Emergency Call is the first notification solution worldwide to use a distinctive windowing look and feel within the web browser. While we would recommend a personal demonstration to best illustrate how the offering can be matched to fit your operational processes, these online demonstrations will help you appreciate the key product features. The Emergency Call system is accessed via a web browser using the correct company ID, user ID and password at the login page. This process is 128-bit encrypted for security. You will have a choice of system functional areas to access, including administration, callout and reporting functions. You will first be greeted by the welcome screen. Clicking OK brings you to the functional area you have previously chosen. Let's look first at how you would use the Administration section to manage your data. There are three main areas of System Administration. Recipient Administration, Group Administration and Site Administration. These different areas can be accessed by clicking on the relevant tab shown along the top of the navigation window. The one highlighted on this screen is the Recipient tab where all possible recipients of your messages would be listed. This data can either be entered by you manually, or we can load it into the system for you from your own electronic file if you have it. The recipient screen contains a list of all the recipients on the system. The details for any of these recipients can be both viewed and modified. The administrator has the ability to add new recipients onto the system and to remove recipients from the system when necessary by using the relevant range of grey buttons to the right hand side of the window. Adding a new recipient Clicking on the Add Recipient button will open the following window where you can add a new user onto the system and set the recipient parameters. Adding a new recipient to the database. Once you are happy with the parameters, you can add the new recipient to the database by clicking on the Add button. Editing, deleting and viewing current recipients can be done in the same way using the relevant grey buttons. Adding a recipient's devices. For each recipient, relevant contact details can be listed. To access this area, either click on the grey box at the bottom right of the screen or double click on the recipient's record. This is an example of the contact device details that you may see for a given individual. If no contact devices currently exist for the recipient, then the device window would have no entries listed. Various device types can be created, including email, fax, pager, SMS text, phone, PDA, GPS or LBS device, and mobile devices. Device types available within the system can be viewed by using the drop-down menu. After selecting Phone and clicking the Add Device button, you will be presented with the following device parameters screen. These parameters are specific to the phone device type. Once all of the relevant details have been entered, clicking on the Add button will make the specified phone device available for use during a callout. You will then be returned to the main window from where you can either edit the details of an existing device or continue adding additional contact devices to the user's profile. Users can manage themselves. It is possible to enable a recipient to directly access the emergency call system themselves via a web browser. Here, they can only manage their own details, including contact devices. They will not be able to initiate a callout or perform any further administration functions or view the reporting suite. On logging onto the system, a recipient at this level will see a screen showing only their own details. They can carry out the administrative functions in the same way, but only on their own details. Use of the system is intuitive, making it easy for recipients to keep their own details up to date. This is a major advantage of the emergency call system. Group Administration To undertake administration for groups of recipients, click on the Groups tab at the top of the navigation area found between the tabs for recipients and sites. It is possible to be a member of multiple groups and yet only be treated as a single recipient in terms of a callout to save them receiving the same message over and over again. Group Members 
Within this part of Emergency Call, members can be added to a new group or existing group and or edited within an existing group. In addition, subgroups can be added to the main group. To access this functionality, you must first highlight the group you wish to use within the group navigation page. Then, clicking on the Members button will open the group members screen, displaying the members, if any, currently associated with the selected group. Where there are multiple group members, you can navigate through them using the Navigate or Search functions. Adding a group member. To add a new member to a group, click on the Add Member button. You will be presented with the following screen, which will allow you to search the database for the recipient you wish to add to the group. You can only add a new member to a group if they already exist as a recipient within the system database. If the recipient you require does not exist, you will first have to add them into the database. Once you have specified the membership start and end date and any required delay, to add the recipient to the group, click on the Add button. The recipient will be shown as a new member on the group member list. Editing group members may be carried out in a similar way. Subgroups Any subgroup associated with the group can be viewed and or added by clicking on the Subgroups tab on the group member's screen. Once you have entered the relevant details of your groups, recipients and their devices, you can send messages to them using the call out section of Emergency Call, which we will now go on to look at. Initiating the call out. After clicking OK on the welcome screen, you are presented with this call out initiation screen. Click the Initiate a call out button. The call out type screen will appear. You can choose from the list of callout types available within your system by using the drop down menu. These depend on the configuration of your system and may differ from those shown here. Choose the incident type you require by clicking on it. Once an incident type has been selected, clicking on the OK button will launch the incident parameters screen where you can select the relevant details relating to the current incident. Setting incident parameters. Depending on the incident type selected and the specific configuration of the system, once the OK button on the incident selection screen has been pressed, different incident parameters will be shown. A sample parameter screen is shown here. Each parameter can be changed by using the relevant drop down menu. Create a recording. Your emergency call system may be configured to enable the user to record unique messages. Where available, this option is chosen from the Call Out Type screen. Once the OK button has been clicked, you will be presented with this Create a Recording parameter screen. To create your recording, you will telephone the unique number which is shown on your specific implementation of the system and follow the instructions given. The number shown here is for example purposes only. Once the message has been recorded, clicking on the Next button will take you to the main Add Recipients screen. Emergency Call also gives you a powerful method of sending out a full range of text type messages, up to tens of thousands per hour if you need that level of throughput. If your system is configured to be able to choose between SMS, pager or email, you can choose the contact type by using the Contact Type drop-down menu. Next, type in your required message. SMS and pager character limits are set at 80 as standard to allow space for header and footer message elements. Email character limits are set at 300. Then click the Next button to access the Add Recipient screen. Adding Recipients Adding Individual Recipients Individual recipients can be added to the callout by clicking on the Add Individual button. On clicking the Add Individual button, you will be presented with the following recipient database navigation screen. Adding Groups Predefined groups of recipients can be added to the callout by clicking on the Add Group button. On clicking the Add Group button, you will be presented with the Group Navigation window, listing all of the pre-configured groups stored on the system. Before you initiate the call, you have a final opportunity to confirm that all of the incident parameters and recipients you have chosen are correct. If any parameters are still incorrect, you may return to the Incident Parameters screen and modify them by clicking on the Change Parameters button. Alternatively, if any of the recipients are incorrect, you can return to the Add Recipients screen to add or remove recipients by pressing the Change Recipients button. 
Once you are confident that all of the callout data is correct, you should select the type of callout you want to initiate by highlighting the relevant tick box, test or real emergency. Having selected test or real emergency, the call can be initiated by clicking the initiate callout button. You will then be presented with a window confirming callout initiation and giving you an option to review the callout you have just initiated. Reviewing a current callout. As the callout progresses, you will see the system making contact with each user. This data is displayed in the left hand panel of the window labelled Contact List. The callout type illustrated here is a two way SMS callout. As users acknowledge receipt of the message, they are moved over to the top right hand panel of the window labelled Successes. If the system is unable to contact a user for whatever reason, they will be moved to the bottom right hand panel of the window labelled Failed to Contact. Further information regarding the contact history for each recipient can be obtained by double-clicking on the recipient's name. The contact history will be displayed in its own window as illustrated here. When reviewing a voice callout, the information that can be reviewed on screen is more comprehensive. The animated sequence shows a typical example of what can be tracked in near real time. Hello, Walter Robinson. This is a disaster recovery emergency call. Please enter your PIN code to confirm your identity. There has been an applications failure on January 1, 2005 at 1300. Please report to central control as soon as possible. To respond, press 1. To repeat the message, press 9. Please enter your estimated time of arrival in 24-hour format, followed by the hash key. Your estimated time of arrival is 13.55. If this is correct, press 1. To change your entry, press 2. Or to hear the number you entered again, press 9. Thank you. Goodbye. Reviewing an historical callout. Log on to the emergency call site. Having clicked OK on the welcome screen, you will be presented with a callout initiation screen as seen earlier. Clicking on the Review Incident button opens up a table of previously launched callouts. These call histories can be reviewed over the internet, even on your PDA if this option is purchased. The following screens give a brief overview of the key features of the PDA option. If the GPS LBS device tracking option has been purchased, it is possible to capture the relevant location information about the recipient at the time of contact. LBS services are limited to the UK, while GPS services are global. This means that you can now track the relevant devices in response to an SMS or voice message sent to it. In turn, you may obtain an accurate idea of where the device was when the message was sent. This snapshot data is stored for subsequent audit purposes. You can zoom in and out from the relevant map image to give a better indication of device location as shown here. This application of technology can help with keeping track of people or any mobile assets which the GPS LBS device is attached to. Initiating a callout via a handheld device. This is only available with the optional PDA or BlackBerry package. The user is able to access the emergency call system using a handheld device via wireless connection to the internet. The internet screens have been modified for use with a handheld device. The advantage of this initiation method over a simple telephone initiation is that the user can then monitor the callout in real time rather than waiting to review a callout via an internet terminal. Select Callout. Having successfully logged on to Emergency Call, you will be presented with the option to either initiate a callout or review an historic incident. To initiate a callout, click on the Initiate a Callout button. You will be presented with a callout type selection screen. You can choose from the list of incident types available within your system by using the drop down menu. Click on the down arrow to the right of the menu. The incident types will be displayed. Choose the callout type you require by clicking on it. Once a callout type has been selected, clicking on the Next button will launch the Incident Parameters screen, where you can select the relevant details relating to the current incident. You will then be given the option to review the parameters you have chosen for your callout on the following Confirm Details screen. 
View all chosen parameters by scrolling to the bottom of the screen using the navigation bar. If any parameter is incorrect, it can be changed by clicking on the Edit button at the bottom of the screen. This will return you to the Incident Parameters selection screen where any changes can be made. If all the parameters are correct, clicking on the Next button will take you to the main Add Recipient screen. Create a recording. Your emergency call system may be configured to enable the user to record unique messages. Where available, this option is chosen from the incident selection screen. Once a next button has been clicked, you will be presented with the create a recording parameter screen. To create a recording, telephone the unique number which is shown on the screen and follow the instructions. Once a message has been recorded, clicking on the next button will take you to the main add recipient screen. Adding groups and individual recipients. Having selected the call out parameters, you will be presented with the Add Recipient screen, which allows individual recipients and or predefined system groups of recipients to be added to the call out. Reviewing a current call out. Having initiated a call out, you will be presented with the call out monitor screen. The monitor screen gives details of recipients who have been contacted successfully, requeued, or failed. Further information can be viewed regarding the call history of each recipient by clicking on the View button to the right of the recipient's name. You can return to the main monitor screen by scrolling to the far right of the screen and clicking on the Back button. You can return to the first Initiate a Callout or Review Incident screen by clicking on the Back button at the bottom of the monitor screen. Thank you for taking the quick product tour of Emergency Call. To learn more about our offerings, please visit our homepage at www.critical.co.uk. If you would like to have a live demonstration for you and your colleagues, email us at infocritical.co.uk. Our website offers more in-depth tours of Emergency Call. For these and tours of our other offerings, please visit www.critical.co.uk tours.